Hi Taurus, the Ivy Phoenix here, ready to jump into, okay, 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 jump into your reading. I know it's been a minute, miss you guys. It's Libra season though. I had to, to share the wealth of good energy, good vibes, you know, balance. I need this in my life just as much as some of you may have needed it in yours so hey. now the last message I, I already remember it I very rarely go back to previous videos like it will just pop back up um, because you know actually tapping into to readings it requires you to be in a certain type of space and the last reading that we did for you all uh, was extremely passionate you know, some fire sign energy. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if they had some Aries within their chart for you, Taurus. But set something ablaze. And I think we are here on, you know, uh, level 2.0, maybe 3.0 because it's been some months. But uh, let's see. Let's get another card here. I don't remember. I just know it was a fire sign. I don't remember if it was specific to Aries, Leo, or Sag. Um, I just, I do remember the fire energy. Like, I feel it. I even feel it now. And we'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Steady Taurus, I feel it. Jesus, is this what you're doing with this person? There it goes. Patience, patience. All right, four of pentacles, power, power. Like it, it feels so endearing that I think that whoever this person is for you, Taurus, they have given you back something that I think has been missing or something that you felt you lost. Um, oh, this just feels so great. So great. So great. Okay. So we have the, em sorry, the emperor car. Like I said, I wouldn't be surprised if this person has um, major Aries energy within their chart or honey, they have put it down on you. Like I, <laughs> oh, you guys look, 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 can we keep it real? Whoever this person is, I think like I'm just, I'm looking I'm being gravitated to look at like this sun sunrise here right and just to feel like they have broken open a brand new level of you and I I also feel like there's something because Taurus is you are a creature of habit you know we love you for it but it can be very hard for you to change your staunch ways it's just the truth um and this person has broken you open to the point where I think there has been some resistance uh, where you may have been like, you know what, you're doing a little bit too much and I'm just going to have to show you up so that I don't feel as if you're taking away everything that is me. Pump your brakes, Taurus, okay? Because I don't think that's what this person is doing. One, they are naturally being themselves. And two, you're naturally being you, but you really care about this person. And what do you typically do when you care about someone? You have to get in there deep, okay? You are the opposite sign of Scorpio. And so you do have some of those same characteristics when it comes to trust, to trust. I, would, I, I believe a lot of Taurus is the people who you really do get into relationships with, like you have to build some type of friendship with them, right? You have to test them. 
You have to do all these things to get in deep to understanding who they are because you you in a relationship, you're not trying to get into another relationship tomorrow or next week or anything like that. Like you need staying power, right? So this person is a breath of fresh air, something that you're not, somebody that you're not used to, energy that you're not used to. So when things are foreign, you know, you sit there and you put up a wall. You put up a wall. You question, you sift, you, you do all these things to try and uncover the truth instead of just already thinking that the truth is right there in front of you. And you want them to have certain answers. You want them to be a certain type. And this person is not going to be that. Fire, earth, very different elements. But when you two come together, I mean, it is powerful, powerful, powerful. So then we have the seven of cups here where, you know, um, I see this two ways. I can see this where the person that you're dealing with, because <clears throat> you have come off so headstrong, Taurus, has been a little bit turned off, you know, to, to especially if you have changed your uh, dynamic to try and make this into what it is that you want, right? And so they've been a little bit turned off and are trying to weigh their options. Like, do I keep forward with this? This is how it's always going to be, so on and so forth. And I can see it from your standpoint where you're asking the same questions. Like, do I keep forward with this? It's not exactly what I thought that I wanted. All of these things, right? But when it comes to unconditional love, and I, I have to give credit to my therapist about this one. Yes, you guys, I'm a black woman. I'm in therapy. Why? She keeps me sane. She keeps my balance in balance, if that makes any sense. Awesome lady. Love her to death. Um, but I actually had a question for her uh, about this um, during one of my previous sessions of, you know, like when... Okay, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you guys, right? When I date, you know, it could be just one thing that turns me off. Don't care. You won't ever hear from me again. You probably had no idea about it. More than likely, you didn't. But it's just, I, I'm done. Like, I just, I justify it where it's like, I just don't have any time to waste. I don't. You guys should see my planners. I have to have multiple planners and I have every minute of my day planned. Um, so, you know, one thing turns me totally off. And then I had to, you know, sit back and be like, you know, I can sit up here and talk to guys. I don't think I've ever been without that option but it's just there are some of them where it just doesn't intrigue me. And who do I in the past, who have I naturally gravitated towards? She was like, well, you want to fix people. And she was just like, so the ones that don't exactly need fixing or the ones who think that they can fix you, they're out of there. No questions asked. But the ones that intrigue you because they have something that you want to dig into, you need to know more about you. You want to fix it. That's who you gravitate towards. Then, you know, she had to open up the picture a little bit more for me to see it. Libra, I need to see both the details and the overall picture. And she was just like, you know, unconditional love is literally that. You don't need to complicate it. You don't need to add anything to it. It is legitimately that. It's that there is no condition where you still do not love this person. And love is active. Love is a choice. Love is something that you constantly have to dig into. It's not automatic. You know, that lovey-dovey stuff that makes you feel all warm inside and all of that, that's not the love. The love is tried and tested. And Taurus is you, you're ruled by Venus, like you, as well as Libras, but you know this. 
You know it's tried and tested. You know it's not always going to be pretty. You know that there are going to be times when those fights are going to be brutal. You know that there are going to be moments where you just say the wrong thing. And you know, you want to be like, uh, the disrespect. You know, um, and then there, there there are those instances that are just you know, uh, non-negotiables for you. It happens, you're done. <laughs> Sound just, hello. You know, um, you have those moments where you're just over it. It's, it's done, there's no questions asked. But this time it's different, you know? Um, I think this person pushes something in you that you may not have thought you would ever bend to and you may not have thought that you would be ready to do it, but because of how much this person has given you back some power, has given you hope, I feel that, has given you hope. Whether this goes the distance or not, Taurus, you're willing to ride the wave which also, again, is not a typical thing that Tauruses do. You know, you guys want the long haul. And I mean, long haul. <laughs> the question of this person never being around again is not what you you think about, you know? Um, so I feel like this Seven of Cups is both of you sitting up there trying to weigh like can I really do this and I think that you can you know um it is definitely going to be work it is definitely going to involve both of you Taurus you are not going to be able to sit on the sidelines and just hope and pray and wish and all of that type of stuff you're going to have to actually be involved in this type of connection but I mean wow no matter what, I do believe that this relationship was destined um, for you to learn what it is that you need to learn, for you to get what you need to get from it. And that's all I can add for it. Everything else is going to be based off of you and this person. And I do feel that by Scorpio season, so not too long away. Okay, I hear something else too. Okay, so by Scorpio season, this can solidify more. Also, when it comes to Scorpios uh, or Scorpio energy, Mercury retrograde is going to play a role here. And I'm not talking about an ex coming back into the picture. You know, that's the usual mumbo jumbo when it comes to Mercury retrogrades. True, it happens. It does. Um, but that's not what I'm talking about here. Mercury retrograde is going to get you to pause on how you usually communicate and learn a new way of communicating because it's going to start in Scorpio and then it's going to end up in Libra. And so you are going to be going through these, I don't know if I trust you yet, mm, to this, I dig you. You're my person. You know, even if we don't necessarily put a relationship title on it, we're friends. We had that, if anything. I would not be surprised if before, you know, Scorpio season is over or as Mercury, you know, returns to Scorpio to move forward, you say those three words. And again, may not necessarily be in regards to a relationship, but you respect the hell out of this person at this point just because of who they are authentically who they are, something that you do value, Tauruses, okay? You you don't like to have the, um, I have to stretch out my legs, I'm sorry. Oh. You don't like to have the wool pulled over your eyes in any way, shape, or form. Like you, the, the reasons why you also test is because you wanna make sure that person is being for real. And this person is being for real. Even, even against your pushes, it's not gonna work. you want to be fully accepted, you need to be able to fully accept Taurus. I love it. I love this for you. Love it for you. Love it for you. Okay. 
Um, so this month I am going to be pulling two different types of oracle messages. You know, the typical um, let's let's read those words and wrap up the reading. And then I also want to pull um, an astrology card to see what type of energy from the universe you are going to be harboring until the next month. Okay. Don't take too long either. <laughs> Don't take too long either with this person, Taurus. Like, I know for you all, slow and steady wins the race. But don't miss out. Don't miss out. Don't miss out because you keep going through these options. You keep questioning. You keep wondering what if, what if, what if, what if, what if. Stop it. Stop it. Don't lead with this. Lead with this narrow pathway tread thoughtfully that's where you are but what was i just saying joy and delight open your heart to joy don't take too long you sit up there and i know i know i know you want to be for sure you want to be certain look honey life's debt life's debt debt debts 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 the south node embodies things that we have learned in previous lifetimes but won't serve us in this one and some of the things that you do they aren't for the They aren't going to secure what you think they're going to secure, Taurus. They're just not. Third house messages. That's <laughs> sitting up there talking about Mercury energy, which rules the third house. You know, um, I do feel like I love you is coming. And I just, I would not be surprised if it's actually going to be coming from you, Taurus. That's your reading. Gabby Phoenix here. If you want something specific to your situation, please reach out at the Abby Phoenix guidance at gmail.com. Please make sure to follow me on YouTube. Yes, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Join the Fire family on all those platforms. I do post consistently on all of those, even though I know videos over here may be a little bit delayed, but the channeling keeps on coming. So, I will see you all very soon. Thank you for rocking with me. Welcome to all those of you who are new. And I will see you again. Mwah.